doing the basic first is we need to check uh, if there is already a partition by going to the start menu my computer so yes we already have here a partition for the server just click uh, this format disk and then we click uh, quick, uh, quick format and press ok and we click ok here right so there are instances that whenever you set up a partition it's not showing up here in the my computer so it's not visible so what you're going to do is to uh, go to create man or mean disk management to set up the partition this one so example if, if your partition that you initially created during the initial installation after the BIOS it's not showing here or in the my computer you need to assign the letters here in the disk management window okay so since when we click uh, my computer it's already here so no need to worry for that okay so the next is show up desktop icons so screen resolution so it seems it's not here pre 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 uh, present what we can do is we can just uh, go to the start menu and then just click icons so show or hide common icons on the desktop you click this click my computer user files network and control panel you click apply and that's it Tada! there's already icons basic here so you don't need to go to the start to the my computer to access the partition you can simply click this one so it's same thing as well with the uh, client you go to the personalize here and change desktop icons click those common icons and then you click apply you click ok you close this window go to my computer check the partition you format disk and you click start and then you click ok and upon checking you can already see your progress bar or something like this so there it's still empty here okay so at this point we will be changing names of the computer so for we will be starting first at the client so we can change name and change settings and we can just type here in the computer description client and change here if there is any to be changed also it's i think that's good uh, change name so we're not going to do it here so let's cancel apply and okay so close it for the client and then change the name of the server as well here in the left side please give your eyes on the left side so uh, change settings here so if you can see the settings of the, the of the uh, server is still this one win lbs win so on so change the computer name this one let's say for example ICT server or capital letter so it will be depending or it depends on your uh, accessor if what domain or what computer name are, are you going to use so click ok so you must restart the computer supply changes so click ok close you restart your computer all right so it's, it's now rebooting all right so here the server is already up you just try to access it so again the password is admin one two three four five where letter a is capital okay so we are done with changing the name and showing up desktop icons and creating partition or showing partition at this point we will be changing the ip address of each uh computers so we will be starting here at the server first so we can just access it here on the network settings or here one one of the good thing is when this initial configuration task display we can easily change the ip address in the configure networking area so change it here so when the computer name if you can see it's already ict server here so we will be changing the ip address and then local area network so don't be confused guys if you can if uh, when you access network connection sometimes this icon here will not display 
that's fine because you need to install the LAN driver or the local area driver, local area network. So if it's not showing, you need to install first the LAN driver, okay? So don't just, uh, don't get confused about that. So if it's already showing, uh, there's no problem. I just click next here and then go to properties and then look for the IP version 4 and then you need to use this following IP addresses for the client, I mean for the server 192.168.1.1 uh, for the IP address and the first, the subnet mask, you just click the cursor here and you click apply, you click apply I mean OK and close and close everything here I'll just minimize this initial configuration task and let's go to client as well so client, same thing, open network sharing and then you, you will be seeing change it up to settings you click on this and then double click on that go to the properties and always remember to change your IP address first for the server and client because that's very important later when we ping these computers so version 4 same deal so use the following IP address so we'll be having a static IP address first but later we will be using this for this one the obtain IP address automatically but but now let's just use or let's just assign an IP address 192.168 uh, I'm sorry uh, one moment 168.1.1.2 so same deal submit mask you click click OK here click OK and that's it you already have you already set the IP address so at this point the next thing is we need to to ping if the connection is already connected so we go to CMD on the on the, on the server and also on the client we just type CMD here I will try to ping so we will first ping the server from the client ping 192.168.1.2 I mean that one because that's the IP address of the server we click enter so all right so it seems that destination host is unreachable we will try on the client so 192.168.1.2 All right. So I guess it's the same. Oh, one moment. There's no ping. Holy shit. Ping. All right. So ping. So again, host destination is unreachable. So at this point, I am going to check the UTP connection or the Ethernet cable of the computers if it's connected to the switch or to the router. Okay. So just one moment. I'll just uh, check it. Uh, at the back of the computer all right so after a couple of minutes I was able to check the connection so it's already working I can see a uh, blinking lights uh, at the back of the back panel where the LAN port is located so I'll try to ping again I will st I will start with uh, the server first all right one moment So server uh, you can also just uh, they call this use the up arrow so that you will not be typing anymore the instructions so pinging for from the server to the client so I will ping also from the client to the server all right so request time bell so request ta timed out so what could possibly be wrong I, I already double checked the connection is ready physically uh, the UTP cable is connected so I will at this point I will troubleshoot I will check on the advanced settings in the network so I will open the network sharing center here change the advanced sharing settings and then I will turn on the network discovery so again okay so this is change advanced sharing settings turn on network discovery all of this option is turned on on the upper side as well so I will be saving changes and I will minimize or close it don't worry because sometimes 
uh, some of the students are saying sir it's turning off again it doesn't really matter because as long as you turn it on it will work no worries about that okay so change advanced sharing settings you just need to make sure that your cable is good because if you you have a faulty cable of course it will not work so turn on through discovery turn on all of this one save changes close this one okay let's try to ping so up arrow ping oh so it seems that i already have a connection here so again ping to the server from the client all right so i guess i already have, have here a connection so the, my next video will be uh, about adding rules i am right i am sure right now that the computer is uh, both connected vice versa all right thank you